Welcome to Channel to Chaos. To learn the alternative to the if else statement. Now this alternative is basically an operator known as the ternary operator. This operator is used rep well represented with a question mark. Now what I'm going to do here is give you a basic if else statement program, okay? And the same program I'm going to use it I'm going to make it using the ternary operator. This would explain and would help you what is a ternary operator and how to use it. So let's get started with a basic program of the if else statement. Okay. And I'm going to say that I'm going to make the value of x is equal to 10. Okay. Open the if else statement. I'm going to say that if x x is greater than 9, then make y's value 100. Okay if the value of x is greater than 9 then make the y's value 100 if not okay else make the value of y let's say 200 y is equals to 200 and the semicolon now just for demonstration purposes i'm going to print the value of i okay percent i comma y so i'm going to print the value of y excuse me for that Alright, so run the program and you will see that it prints 100. It prints 100 because obviously x value is greater than 9. It's 10, so 10 is greater than 9. Now, how would you represent this, this old stuff, into a ternary operator? It's really simple. I'm going to keep this statement up over here so you can see the difference. So I'm going to type in the same statement but using a ternary operator. So this is an extremely useful operator. So let's say I'm going to type the condition first, okay? So the condition if is that if x is greater than 9, do this or either this. So you specify the condition first. So as you can see, I have typed in y is equal to. So whatever the thing that we type in over here, whatever statement, it will store it into the y, okay? So let me just show it to you. So if x is greater than 9, okay, question mark, this is your ternary operator, this thing is what represents that that is a ternary operator, okay? So basically what you're saying here, if the condition is true, so whatever m you put it over here, that would be done. So let's say 100, okay? So if this statement is true, it would assign the value 100 to y, okay? If this is not true, okay so we put the double quotes and we say 200 so I'm going to do this again alright whatever is the condition okay if the condition is true this would be performed if the condition is false this would be performed so either this or this would be assigned to y okay so it's exactly the same as this it's performing if this is true perform this if it's false perform this the thing is, this is not an absolute alternative to the FL statements because, as you can plainly see, it's a really small statement. It's just assigning a value. But if you have like 15 or 16 lines of statements inside the if, it's going to be really inconvenient to put it over here. Probably it won't even work. So basically, this is for, let's say, a short FL statement. This performs exactly the same operation as the if else statement over here. This ternary operator is extremely useful, but in only some circumstances, some unique circumstances. So if I remove all this and if I run the program, it would print 100. Okay? And if just I change the condition, it would print 200. If you run it, and as you can see, it prints 200. Means this is working exactly the same as the if else. But again, this is only used for small statements. Okay, so just assigning a value, a single line statement would just be perfect for this ternary operator. So I would like to do a brief recap. In if else statements, you specify the condition in if, as we have done over here. So you specify first the condition. Then you specify a question mark, which would make that the compiler to understand that you are using the ternary operator okay condition ternary operator then whatever the statements of the if is you put it over here and the double colon and then you put the statements of else 
it's really as simple if over here else over there so if the condition is true this will this part would get executed if false this would be executed it's really that simple but do keep that in mind it's only used for short statements nothing of huge lines or even more than one line would be really inconvenient so this is the ternary operator this is the alternative to the if else statement so anyway this has me channel to chaos i hope you like this video rate comment subscribe thank you very much